The largest land deal in history is today worth almost $1.3 trillion. Now you might have been falling asleep in history class, but I guarantee you will stay awake for this one because it will absolutely blow you away. All right, hello, my name is Jack Bosch and welcome to the number one source for real estate and finance education on YouTube. So back in the 1800s, there were wars in Europe left and right all the time. The Germans attacked the French, the French attacked the Germans. It's just gone to this big mess left and right. And there's this one guy that you probably heard of, Napoleon Bonaparte, right? Constantly waging war with everyone. But even back then, wars were very, very expensive. So Napoleon was sitting there trying to figure out what his next target is, preparing for his next big war, rallying the troops and realizing, hey, I need some cash to do this. So he looked around and tried to figure out what he could sell. So he realized that over on the other side of the ocean, he had over 838,000 square miles that the French had just purchased from the Spanish a few years prior. And that land was not worth anything to him. So he went and he offered this land to the United States of America. Now, Thomas Jefferson at the time looked at it and said like, well, I don't really know if I have the authority to buy this or not, but the deal would have doubled the size of the United States as we knew it at that time. And so he basically went for it. The price for this land of 838,000 square miles, so 530 million acres, was a whopping $15 million. So Thomas Jefferson went for it. And you know what this is today? It's the Louisiana Purchase. These 838,000 square miles have been actually divided up and are now 15 states in the United States of America. Now let's talk about value. This is now worth $1.3 trillion. It's about estimate 1.27, so close to $1.3 trillion. Now, if you break this down by the acre, when the United States bought that land and essentially doubled the size of the United States, that land cost 2.8 cents per acre. 2.8 cents per acre. Now this land is worth about $2,400 per acre. Now you might be thinking that's low, but remember there's a lot of farmland. There's also a lot of natural parks and things like that that not really usable on there. Obviously the land in the cities are worth a million dollars an acre or more, but out in the rural area it's much, much less. But so an average of $2,400 an acre. But what that really means is that this land has appreciated over the last about 300 years by over 85,000%. In other words, this was the bargain of the century. But the deal gets even better. Now check this out. Shortly after purchasing all this land and opening the borders, and you have seen the videos or the pictures up there, like the lineup of the horse and buggies and of the carts, and just everyone gets to put a stake in their land and own the land, and it drastically changed the migration of the United States. It drastically changed the makeup of the United States. People moved west like crazy. Now the government started putting in also exhibitions, so like the Lewis and Clark exhibition went that way and started measuring and discovering the western side of the United States and reporting back. And shortly afterwards, something amazing happened. They found gold. Now that of course changed everything. Because in that moment, now it didn't just become a race to put a stake onto some land, to own some land and put up a farm and slowly expand to the west. Now it became a race to the west. Now it became a gold rush. Now people went out there and, and they found gold and riches were created. And the riches that they got out of the ground were a multiple more than what the United States paid for that land. But it doesn't end there. Even if you go into the more recent history, like the 19th and 20th century, they ended up finding oil in many of these lands, right? So again, this humongous purchase for $15 million, 2.8 cents per acre, turned into a multi, multi, multi trillion dollar boon and value for the United States. And whoever said that there's no value in land? As we're looking over the last centuries, over the Louisiana Purchase or similar purchases that the United States have made or other countries have made, or even the development of countries, land has always played a crucial role. It's not just that it's a place for people to put a house, 
house. It's also the ability to farm the land. What's underneath the surface of the land? Gold, oil, minerals that have played a humongous role in how prosperous a country has become. So if you ever think that land is not valuable, think again. Where does your jewelry come from? Where does the gold come from? Where does the gemstone come from? Where does the materials that you use come from? It all comes from the land. So land is really the foundation for most of our wealth. So with that said, if you enjoyed this, make sure you give us a thumbs up, you share this video, you comment below, ask any questions you might have, and I'll see you on the next video.